I always tell this story because I, we presented the monster at Cologne in Germany. And we presented the motorcycle and most of the people that were coming to see the bike, they were saying, oh, this is a very futuristic motorcycle. Which to me, it left me kind of puzzled because it proved to me it was not futuristic. It was the simplest way a motorcycle is always been. So this like, it created a break in everything that everybody was doing. The actual, the first moment in which, you know, the idea of the Mustang was born was, going, was while I going to school. Because we were riding, you know, the Angeles Crest Highway here and, you know, maybe you fall down and get a piece of plastic, you know, scrap and then you will go to the list. Can I get that piece? Oh, it's $500. We didn't have much money, so you remove the pieces and then at the end, you will have a motorcycle that was no, no bodywork. And it will be riding the same way. So when, <laughs> When this, this thing, you know, stay in my mind, I say, but that's, I mean, you don't actually need much, you know, handlebar, gas tank, and a seat. The simplicity of one thing, of any object we have, it doesn't have a time. It lasts forever. We live in cycles, you know, so right now we are in the low part of it, and I see 10 years from now, everybody's gonna ride a two-wheel vehicle because it's the simplicity, com less complexity, what the cost, everything is much better. You can see here in Pasadena, young kids riding bicycles. 30 years ago, to ride a bicycle, you were crazy to ride a bicycle in Pasadena. So the next step is gonna be something else, but it's not gonna be a car. This generation, you know, this is what is good for me, is growing up in a world that knows you know, that the world doesn't last forever. That there are many things that we have to consider. You know, the story goes, you know, like my father is the generation that used to ride a car and used to smoke and do this with the car and throw the thing out of the window. I grew up in a generation that we recycle. So we grew up in a generation in which, you know, you do this, you keep it in the car and then you put it in someplace else. My sons grew up in a generation that they recycled just by nature. So imagine the next one is already more conscious of everything that is around you. If there is a trend is that the youth of the world is very much aligned in many its objects. When I was born in Argentina 55 years ago, the people in Italy didn't know what was going on in Vietnam or even in America. Maybe America was the most popular country because there were movies but you were isolated. Right now we are in a war in which the youth of the world is all connected. So what is going on in Argentina is automatically known what is going on in Vietnam and what is going on in Santa Monica. So these barriers are all gone. The first night I was in Bangkok, you know, we were with these Piaggio people going, walking around the city, and you can see all these people riding monsters dressed in such a way that it was the same way they dressed in Milano and they dress the same way as here. And that maybe 30 years ago was impossible to see. Right now, this, this is one, I think, one of the biggest trends and it's gonna be the best way the war is gonna go forward. Everything is possible, it's just a matter of sitting down and thinking about it.